What's up, you certified beauties? Nick here from Nick's Taxes, back with another video. Today is Thanksgiving Monday, so first of all, happy Canadian Thanksgiving to everyone out there watching this. I hope you guys have some good time with family and friends. I apologize also for the late, late upload, but today is Monday, which means you are now available to apply for the Canada Recovery Benefit for period number 27. Period number 27 is a special period because it marks the last Canada recovery benefit that some of y'all uh, can receive. As you may know, the Canada recovery benefit is available for up to 27 periods for applicants. And so this might be the last period you might be entitled to if you've been applying from the get-go. Now there is one more period, period 28. So there will be another two week period if you haven't applied for all 27. There's actually 28 through this Canada recovery benefit period. And so October 23rd is actually the end date. So if you haven't applied for all 27, you can still get one more. This period is one in which there will be a lot of kind of waiting and seeing as in the budget that was released in the summer, they announced that they had uh, an opportunity or a potential to extend the Canada recovery benefit for basically another month. And if that's going to happen or not has yet to be seen. Uh, still, as of today, Monday, we're not sure if there's going to be an extension. We just know that as of right now, this is going to be uh, the last period for a lot of you who have been receiving the Canada Recovery Benefit from the get-go. If you've exhausted your EI and are now new to the Canada Recovery Benefit for these final few weeks, you'll be able to apply for this one and you'll be able to apply for the next one coming up because you haven't applied for 27 periods yet. Anyway, because of that information, because we're gonna be winding down, um, let me know in the comments below what kind of content you would like to see on this channel going forward, uh, especially as the Canada Recovery Benefit winds down. What would you like to see? Uh, let me know and I will try to cater my video topics towards what you wanna see. So this is your chance to, to give in some input there. Obviously, I will be keeping you guys updated regarding the Canada Recovery Benefit, especially if there is uh, an extension so definitely you're going to want to stay tuned and subscribe uh, and follow along as we get more details regarding that. I am going to also come up with more videos uh, talking about that process, what it's going to look like. There is some pressure being put on uh, the government to both extend it and also to stop it right now and for different reasons, of course. We'll talk about those in later videos. Again, definitely subscribe. And also if you're um, watching this video and you get value at any time, definitely hit the thumbs up helps my channel grow and gets this video out there to more people who find this stuff valuable. Again, because people are new to the channel, uh, we'll go over quickly who can apply for the Canada Recovery Benefit, especially those who are uh, new to this benefit because they've exhausted EI. In order to qualify for the Canada Recovery Benefit, this period, period 27, uh, this ranged from September 26th to October 9th. So the eligibility criteria, you have to meet that criteria for that full two week period. So we'll get into that while you, um, the eligibility criteria of applying. But one more thing I wanna note, because today is the first day that you can apply, but it's also Thanksgiving Monday, uh, expect your payment to be a day late and expect today uh, not really to work. So uh, if you can wait till tomorrow, Tuesday to apply and get your money because We've seen other Mondays in which CRB periods have opened up uh, that have also landed on a holiday and we've seen issues coming from uh, the Canada Recovery Benefit website. Obviously those who work at the CRA have the day off for Thanksgiving so you know I would apply on Tuesday and then your payment would come a day later. So let's get into who can apply for the CRB. Again CRB is 600 bucks. Uh, 540 after taxes withheld for a two-week period. For the CRB for this period, you were either not employed or self-employed for reasons related to COVID-19, uh, or you had a 50% reduction in your average weekly income compared to a previous year due to COVID-19. Also, you did not receive or apply for the sickness benefit, caregiving benefit, short-term disability, EI, or Quebec parental insurance plans. You are not eligible for EI. Uh, you can exhaust the EI, that would make you ineligible for EI, but you can't um, be eligible for EI and choose to go on the Canada Recovery Benefit. You need to reside in Canada and be present in Canada 
at least 15 years old with a valid social insurance number, and you need to have earned at least $5,000 in 2019, 2020, or in the 12 months prior to the date you apply uh, from either of the following sources, employment income, net self-employment income, uh, maternity or parental benefits, or regular or special benefits from EI, if your EI claim began on or after September 27th. You could not have quit your job or reduced your hours voluntarily on or after September 27th, 2020, unless it was reasonable to do so, and there's a penalty uh, if you did do that indeed. Also, you need to have been seeking work during this period, either as an employee or in self-employment. With that being said, you can't turn down reasonable work during this two-week period that you're applying for, and you were not self-isolating or in quarantine due to international travel. So there's, they don't want you uh, going off on a vacation and then coming back and receiving CRB because you're taking those two weeks off to quarantine and therefore can't go into work, right? So uh, can't be doing that. And then you need to have filed your 2019 or 2020 tax return. There are a few exceptions, but basically make sure you are uh, in compliance with the government and filing your taxes. That is the criteria for the Canada Recovery Benefit. For more information, check out their website or let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or clarifications. But uh, the website does a good job of walking you through to make sure if you're uh, eligible or not. And if you are, uh, you can apply on the phone, online, um, or there's some other ways that you can apply as well. But I would start uh, on the website and go from there. You'll get $600 uh, for the two week period. And again, that is taxable income. So you end up with $540, they withhold 10%. Let me know uh, again in the comments below what you guys think. This might be the last uh, time you'll be receiving the Canada Recovery Benefit for many of you. Uh, so hopefully you guys find a new job or back to work like right now. So that way you don't have to worry going forward. Uh, again, we'll let you know about the extensions if possible. But I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.